Marion here. I'm back to you with a new video and this one is going to be the first in my series of videos uh, for Rosh Hashanah, which is the Jewish New Year. Uh, my plan is to make videos all about spirituality with the holiday as well as some ideas for like cooking and crafts to do with your kids and just ways to prepare for the holiday. Um, so yeah, this one is all about reflecting for Rosh Hashanah. So yeah, I hope you like it. If you do, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I make videos about being a Jewish mom, cleaning, organizing, and all things like that. Okay, so this video is all about reflecting for Rosh Hashanah, which is a big theme of the holiday. So just like in the uh, regular New Year in January, it's all about gearing up and getting ready for the year ahead and thinking back to the year that's gone by. So in Judaism, the whole month of Elul prior to the holiday is a time of reflection. And um, there's even a hashtag going around called Reflect for Rosh. <laughs> so I've been doing that and thinking about it a lot. So Rosh Hashanah, although it's just one day, is really the end of this whole month of thinking about where did you miss the mark this year? Where did you try and kind of step off track? And how can you correct for next year? And the goal of the month is to get in that right mindset so that when you kick off the new year, you're ready to go. Um, so I like to think for myself of um, the Jewish New Year as the time where I set goals for myself of the type of person that I want to be. And then in January, I choose that New Year to kind of get, um, to focus more on like my body or my house. So like, you know, diet, exercise, all that sort of thing. However, I do use this month um, in mostly, you know, August, September to prepare my home a little bit for the new year. Um, September has always felt like a fresh start for me with um, going back to school and the Jewish high holidays. So I like everything to just feel new. So this is the time of year where it really feels like things are kicking off. So yeah, as Rosh Hashanah is the spiritual new year, I try to take inventory of where did I go wrong this year. And I think for me personally, there are two areas in my life where I really want to improve for next year. The first is not getting caught up in worry. And the second is not getting caught up in self-pity. So this time last year my son was born and that was I mean an incredible moment. It was something I'd wanted for so so long and I was so grateful that he was born. But at the same time I had so many postpartum issues and you know medical problems following his birth that I felt very unappreciative at that time and filled with self-pity because I saw other women who had just given birth who were like running around the town and meeting up with friends and doing all sorts of things and I could like barely leave the bed. So I was just very angry that I felt like I couldn't enjoy this time with my newborn because I was so just um, exhausted and in so much pain and it was really hard for me. And that experience lasted for a few months. It, I don't think I would qualify it as a postpartum depression um, in the in the medical sense, but I did feel a definite frustration. So I think, you know, some of that was a little bit out of my control, but I would like for this next year to just try to be more um, understanding that things will go wrong and it looks like everyone's life, you know, that nothing ever goes wrong for them, but that's obviously not how it is. And to just learn to appreciate even with things that are upsetting and, you know, things that go wrong. So that's a really big goal for me. And the second is just to worry less because I feel like I, I do this thing where I like pre-worry about what could go wrong and like um, you know all these things that could happen and it's just not helpful so those are my two really big goals for this next year. Um, one other thing I want to talk about is, um, you know, I had a really tough time with my relationship with God through a lot of, you know, my pregnancy and things that went wrong, and, you know, that was really hard for me. I feel like in this next year, I want to find a way to get close to God again and invite more spirituality into my life. I'm not sure exactly how to do that, and I plan to spend the next few weeks thinking about that, um, but especially as I'm raising my son, you know, I want to give him you know, opportunities to find spirituality in his life too. And um, therefore I have to figure out, you know, what's gonna be doing in mine. 
So the last thing I want to mention for anyone out there who's like looking for more things to think about this month is a really good book to recommend. It's an absolute classic. You've probably heard of it. It's called Why Do Bad Things Happen to Good People? It's by Rabbi Kushner and it's all about how to have a relationship with God and how to come to terms um, with life when something really, really tragic and bad happens in your life, even though you think of yourself as a good person and you probably are. <laughs> so yeah, I highly recommend that book if you're looking to do some like spiritual learning this month. And I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful holiday and um, enjoys the season in the fall. So yeah, look out for more videos to come about these topics. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.